Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Well, we've gone over the basics of what a non-right triangle is, and solving it is looking for any missing side or angle. You can use two different things. You can use the law of sines or the law of cosines, and then you will see a self-quiz coming up. Now, this is a problem set, problem set two, where you use the law of sines to find some missing parts. Just do a quick review here. Um, the law of sines is these sets of ratios. You're comparing the sine value of an angle to its opposite side. And that's why we have a capital A and a lowercase a. And that's the way we name these parts of a triangle. So anytime that you are asked to solve a triangle or find some missing parts, an angle or a side, you could use the law of sines. And that's when you're given two angles and a non-included side or an included side. All right, so you have to kind of look for those situations. In our next video after this, we'll go over the law of cosines, which is in different situations. But I'm gonna have you try two problems, so get your calculators ready, get a piece of paper, and let's have you try them. The first thing that's pretty important to do, I think, is to label the parts that you have here. So. Here is angle A, and opposite that is 35 miles. So that side right there we're going to call lowercase a. Here's angle B, and across from that would be side B. And here is angle C, and across from that would be side C, lowercase letters. And over here, number 8, when we get to that, here is angle A, so this is A. Here is angle B, so we're going to label this side lowercase b. And here is angle C, and so that 29 that we know is called C. All right, here's the law of sines ratios, and we need to pick the right combinations here so we have a proportion to solve. And notice that the 35 miles uh, measurement I have here is opposite angle A, and I don't know that measurement, but I can figure it out. These two angles here add up to 88 degrees, right? All right, all three are going to add up to 180, so I can easily subtract and figure out what that is. 92 degrees. All right, now that's going to be important to know as we fill out our law of sines. We're going to use sine C over C equals sine A over A because we know three of the four of those. Here's how we plug in the values. Sine of 29, sine of 92. In a calculator, we figure out those trig values. We're going to multiply these two amounts here and then divide by that number, and we get 16.978. And it keeps going from there, and we can actually round up to 17. All right? So that missing opposite side, C, is 17. All right. I hope you did okay. Let's try this next one. Now again, notice that we have angle, angle, and included side, okay? We have to have at least one side and its opposite angle, and we don't have that except we do need to figure out what this angle is here. And again, if we know two to the three angles of the triangle, then we can subtract. So what's 57 plus 79? It should be 135, right? Those two angles add up to 135 degrees. Whoops, I better do that right. How about 136? There we go. Okay, subtract from 180 because all three angles add up to 180 degrees. And that, that should give us 44. All right, that's a 44 degree angle. Okay, now how does that help us? Well, we do have our sides labeled here. And we notice that we could do sine of 44 degrees, which is angle C, right? We know its opposite side is 29. Looking at angle B, 
So it would be a sine of 57 degrees. And we're looking for side lowercase b. All right, let's plug in those values. Did you get those sine values on your calculator? Carry them out to four rounded significant digits. And now we're going to cross multiply. Multiply these two numbers here and divide by that number. And that will give us our side length b. Which should be about 35. Now on my calculator is 35.000 something. And the reason why it's not exact is because of all this rounding that we're doing here. But the missing side length should be 35. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope this made sense. Again, we're using the law of sines because we are given an included side um, in between two angles. Okay, We do have to figure out what the third angle is, but that's just an intermediate step. Now look for problem set three, which is going to involve the law of cosines. Thanks a lot for watching, and tell other people about it if you like it. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard, 